I'll begin the animation process. I'm going to do this by setting my timeline for frames 1 through 150 down in the timeline. So if we were to look at the bottom of our user interface, this would be a 1 and this one would be 150. Now wherever I drag through this timeline, the number of the frame I'm on will register right here. So I'll go back to the beginning of the timeline to frame 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to marquee select all of my components. But then I'm going to shift and click on the dollar bill because I don't want that. We're going to make the ring of coins that spin around the dollar. Now with those selected, I'll hit Command G. I'll name the group. And I'll center the pivot. Now at frame 1, I'm going to set a keyframe. And I'll do that by going to Rotate Y in the channel box, right-clicking on the word and choosing Key Selected. You'll see a little red box there and a little red line in the timeline itself. Now, before I add any more keyframes, I want to make sure in the lower right-hand corner that this little box has got this red background. I'll put my playback head at 70 by either punching in the number here or dragging. And then for rotate Y, I'll select the zero and put in 360. And now if I were to drag through my timeline, I've got that 360 rotation between frames 1 and 70. Now to make sure it's running in real time, I want to make sure that I go to the little orange guy with the gear over his shoulder, and that is our preferences. So I'm going to click on it, and in there I want to make sure that my playback is 24 frames times 1. Now it's hard to discern, but what's happening is this plays um, at a slower rate and then speeds up at the end and I want it to be consistent so I'll stop my animation and with the coin selected I'm going to go to Windows Animation Editor Graph Editor and in here I see that green snaky kind of a line I'll click on the word rotate Y and then in the attributes for the graph editor I'll click on the little orange line with the white box at the top and you'll see that line is straightened out now I need this rotation to be for the duration of the animation, 150 frames, but it stops at 70. So I'm going to go to where it says Curves, Post Infinity, and I'll click on Cycle. So now if I was to play my animation, it'll play for the duration of the timeline. I'm going to stop it, and the next thing we need to do is we need to have the coins diminish and go away once they get to about 75. So at seven, frame 75, I'm going to deselect everything. I'll marquee select everything again, shift clicking on the dollar. So now each of these coins is separately selected, not the group, which means if I scale it down, they're all going to scale down in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be scaling them on the X, Y axis. I'm leaving the Z alone. So with all of them selected, I'll go over to my channel box and I'll select Scale, Y, and X. I'll right click and choose Key Selected. This is at 75. Now I'll go to frame 150 and I'll select both those number ones and I'll punch in a zero. So essentially what's going to happen now is it will animate and then it will completely scale and disappear. Now we're going to Photoshop and we'll create our texture. 